Ah, uh, hey gang. Welcome to day 19. So today we're gonna add yet another lock. This is probably the last one. This one's called Udhyana Bandha, or the, I guess it's the abdomen, the abdominal lock. So I'm gonna show this to you. So I'm gonna lift up my shirt here. And basically what we're doing is we're sucking in our, our belly and we're pulling our diaphragm up. So this is normal. We're gonna suck in our belly. And hold that. Okay, that's it in the gist of it. That's it in a nutshell. So we're just sucking in our abdomen when we do the breath hold. Because of the way this technique works, you can only do the abdominal lock without a retention. You can't hold your breath in and do that. It just doesn't really work. So only outer retention. And uh, today we'll practice fire breath again with that. We won't do the other two locks. We'll just do this one. So take your comfortable seat and rest your arms comfortably. Spine should be straight, shoulders relaxed. And find that spot that works for you where you can begin observing your breath. Feeling the gentle inflow of the breath, cooling on the in, warming on the out, focusing on all the little sensations without controlling anything. get distracted by your thoughts, come on back to the tip of the nose. Spanning the abdomen for yogic breathing, chest, clavicle, release, clavicle, chest, abdomen. Inhale, abdomen, chest, clavicle, release, clavicle, chest, abdomen. Inhale, abdomen, chest, clavicle, release, clavicle, chest, abdomen. Good. Coming back to your normal breathing. So today we're going to practice Uddiyana Bandha or the abdominal lock with the fire breath, Kapalbhati. Uh, we'll do the basic one, not the alternate nostril one. So let's go for, what we do, 30? Let's do 30 again. 30 is a good number. So let's take a few deep breaths, three breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Let it all out. One more. Inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, remember this couple bhati, so blow your nose if you need to, forceful exhale breath, inhale for a couple bhati, go. Inhale deeply, hold, and exhale, fold forward over your knees, exhale everything out, press your arms down, straighten your elbows, suck in your abdomen, hold the breath out.
relax. Inhale. Exhale. That's one round. Let's do another round. Inhale. 30 breath. Inhale deeply. Hold the inhale. Exhale the breath. Exhale all the way. Folding forward. Exhaling out. Suck in the abdomen. Extend the arms. Straighten the elbows and hold. Relax, inhale. Release, relax. One more round. Inhale deeply for 30. <laughs> inhale deeply. And hold. Exhale all the way out. Exhale, throw the breath, suck in the abdomen, abdominal lock, straighten the arms, hold. Good, relax. Just relax. So with the abdominal hold, the abdominal lock, um, you may experience the same thing I do. There's this kind of like this involuntary reaction, like uh, when you want to breathe again. So that's normal. When that happens, just breathe. And just hold it as long as you can. You're not trying to make yourself pass out. So when you feel that spontaneous reaction, then do it. And as with the other locks, this can be added to any outer retention technique. So any of the previous videos where we practice outer retention, you can add in the Udiana Banda or the abdominal lock. And it goes with any technique and you're gonna see that it really, it really just heightens your practice to another level. So, I think that's all I have to tell you about Udiana Bandha, the abdomen lock. And tomorrow we're going to put all these locks together and take it to the ultimate level. Ooh, the ultimate breath work. So I'll see you here tomorrow for day 20. Almost done. Have a great day. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to just take a moment to give a massive thank you to all of you that have been supporting my work by buying my book. If you haven't picked up your copy yet, the book is called Young, Successful and Miserable, A Blueprint to Getting Unstuck and Reclaiming Your Natural Freedom. Now this book is a result of a long internal process I went through myself when I felt very lost in life and my career, and it's really going to help you clarify your why, your values, your beliefs how you got to where you are, and where you want to go next. And the bonus to buying this book is, for every copy that I sell, I donate $2 US equivalent to two nonprofits for children. So you can see more information about where to get the book and about the two nonprofits that I'm working with in the description below in this video. So get yourself a copy today, help yourself, and help children in need at the same time. Thanks so much for your support and I'll see you soon.